Hi, I'm Colleen Lawrence, and I'm a book artist living in Jacksonville, North Carolina, and I'm going to be reading from my artist book, Concrete Uncertainty. Concrete mattresses are gently lowered onto the bed of the river with the aim of weighing down sediment, of keeping the river as it is. Do you promise not to stray? Unbeknownst to the river, Congress charged the Army Corps of Engineers, pronounced Corps, lest you embarrass yourself in front of your future father-in-law, with keeping the Mississippi River en route and navigable. May I say there have been easier feats. There have been easier feats. In Cape Girardeau, the river's height is measured on the flood wall, like the pencil marks drawn over children's heads in doorways. It does not stop growing. Her deepness, articulated, arrested, to love what you cannot know. There is a lobe of Kentucky alone, wrapped in river, waiting to be lopped off and left in Missouri when the river opts for a more direct route. From an overlook point in New Madrid, Missouri, you can see the lone lobe. The day I visit, a trailer, a trailer titled Crossmobile is pulled up to the overlook, wheeling Jesus out to see Kentucky. Dying cypress and industrial chimneys make a forest, and I am warned to be wary of the beauty. Lands end, plan chaos, control, control, flood as cure. It's New Year's Eve and the world is crawling toward New Orleans. I am the passenger as we drive over water, as we stop and go on the concrete causeway that feeds us into that flat city. After dark, we gather on the levees, where fireworks can be seen for miles. Hold the river, feed it water. We fear erosion of a way of life. Beyond New Orleans, houses begin to grow. They get leggy and leggier. Sky opens up beneath them. Staircases are spindly arms. Time grows from ground to bed. Children's red and yellow plastic cars park alongside pickup trucks in the underbellies. Cemented doubts hold up houses suspended over sinking land. Rain comes. Today, the river remains on its side of the wall. Town called waterproof, sand drowned sea, potent spoonful, building fear. Fort Jackson is a couple of miles in from the end of the road. A moat, willows, heavy clouds, tired brick. This star-shaped fort, born of necessity, has walls 20 feet thick. Of necessity, I pee in the basement.
I drive up the bank to the water. The smell of dead fish floods my nostrils, but I want to see where the water meets the shore each time. The lip is a garfish graveyard. Some bodies strewn on the shore, others dead in the water, their heads bobbing along with the current. Spell doom, stealth denial, witness limits, old hope. Honeycomb bones, reachable clouds, read me to sleep, read me awake. Looming towers of power and citrus flank the low road. A pair of neon clad legs extend from an open trunk, deep in a nap. The sign for the Mississippi River Basin scale model is behind a padlock fence obscured by weeds. Momentarily deflated, I walk 20 paces to the right and go around the end of the fence. The open sky ahead signals what is to come. The abandoned remains fruitful. Piles of folded wire line the landscape, remnants of pseudo sediment from when this was a functioning model of the river. I step onto the concrete country and skip across the river. Right hesitation, beautiful question, anteroom to the solution we do not know. <laughs> 